Charlotte County is well known for beautiful sandy beaches, but our diverse county is also home to a wide range of wildlife. Scrub jays, gopher tortoises, eastern indigo snakes, um, rattlesnakes from time to time. I've seen otters, bobcats, um, eastern towhees. The list goes on and on, and, and all you have to do is come out and really spend a little time. Charlotte County Senior Environmental Specialist Jason Thompson loves his job of managing wildlife and the 5,500 acres of habitat in the county's environmental parks and preserves. The surrounding nature, the wildlife in Florida, that's our heritage. That's what we pass on to future generations. And my responsibility is to make sure, as much as possible, that it is in the best condition. A lot of people are surprised to learn that Florida black bears live in Charlotte County. Our county is the southwestern border of the 15-county South Central Bear Management Unit that extends north to Pinellas and Hillsborough counties and east to Osceola and St. Lucie counties. Charlotte County has two areas of habitat where black bear range is considered common. I've been fortunate enough that at least two of the properties uh, that I directly manage have had bears photoed on them. So they're out there. We have a very robust uh, expanding bear population in the state. And again, really we have a pretty robust human population. I think we're at 20 million people now too. And so, um, you know, those, those, two, uh, those two things, bears and humans are just starting to butt heads throughout the state. Mike Orlando is the Assistant Bear Program Coordinator for Florida Fish and Wildlife. Part of Orlando's job is to train FWC wildlife officers, county environmental specialists, and the public about bears and how to manage them. Orlando says the estimated bear population of the South Central Bear Management Unit, which covers over 10,000 square miles, is 100 bears. Florida black bears are typically quiet and shy. But for the most part, they're like shadows. You know, they'll, they're going to be, they're forest obligates, so they're going to spend most of their time under canopy, and they're just, you know, you're not going to get to see them. They can smell you coming, and they'll just run. If you do see a bear from a distance, enjoy the experience, then back away slowly. If you encounter a bear up close, never run or turn your back. Instead, back away slowly, avoid direct eye contact, and speak calmly. If a bear comes into your yard, get to a safe place like inside your home or in a vehicle, make sure the bear has an escape route, and then scare the bear. Orlando teaches his students to throw up their hands and yell, hey bear. If you live near bear habitat, make sure you're not attracting them to your yard with pet food, garbage, bird seed, or livestock feed. Never ever feed a bear. Remember the saying, a fed bear is a dead bear. Never ever feed bears. I mean, they become really quickly associate people with food. And uh, if you start even just once or twice because you think it's really you know, fun to do, um, you throw them a hot dog or a donut or something like that, uh, they will start associating people with food and then they become uh, food conditioned. And once they become food conditioned, it's almost impossible to break that. And uh, unfortunately, the bear is the one that usually suffers in the end. For more information about the Florida black bear, visit Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission's website at myfwc.com slash bear. The FWC and environmental specialists like Thompson continue to educate the public about bears and manage wildlife habitat so bears and people can continue to coexist peacefully. These are animals that will move within your landscape and you may never know they're there.